Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Let's craft a super fun and adorable heart rag wreath that's perfect for adding a touch of love and charm to your home decor. I will show you how to add material to a Dollar Tree heart frame to create a beautiful and unique wreath that is sure to make hearts flutter. So grab your favorite Valentine fabrics and let's get started. Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Today we are getting to the fabric heart wreath that you all have been waiting for. I've had so many people message me and asking when this tutorial will be ready. Well, we are gonna make that happen today. And this is just gonna be an absolutely gorgeous farmhouse style rag material wreath. And I did pick up a, a extra material here. I'm not sure if we're going to use all of these, but I got, I did pick up this extra pink and we'll see how it goes. Um, but basically I got a variety of Valentine prints here and I got these from Hobby Lobby and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Possibly we're going to use the seventh. I'm not quite sure yet if I'm going to use this one. But for sure, we're gonna be using these six patterns here. And we will need a heart wreath frame. And you're gonna need a rotary mat, a cutting mat. I'm gonna be using my, my guide here. And either a good pair of scissors or your rotary cutter. And we're gonna be cutting our material into seven by two inch strips. And we're going to do that with all of this material, and then we're going to attach it to our wreath frame in a particular um, pattern. So let's get started. So I started working with the first yard. I already have some of these cut up here. And what we're doing is we're taking that yard, we're folding it out, and we're dividing it at first into seven inch sections here. So this one is, got another mat underneath because I'm always ruining it with hot glue. Um, so I have this cut into seven inches. This is cut into seven inches right there all the way to the top. And then we're turning it this way and we'll be cutting it into two inches. And this is where you need a really good rotary cutter or some scissors. And I'm just using my, my guide here. And I'm gonna take my rotary cutter and I'm going through a, a bunch of layers here. So you just wanna make sure that you give it a good, a good pressure on your rotary cutter. We're gonna cut all of these now into the two inches. And we're gonna do the same thing with all our material and we're gonna have these little stacks of seven by two inches. And this is the time consuming part, but trust me, it'll be worth it when we make this gorgeous wreath. So I'm going to keep moving along until I have all of my material cut into these seven by two inch strips. I'm gonna take my next yard of this beautiful pink here and we're just going to fold it in half. Two, lay it this way. Nice and flat 
And when you measure it this way, well, first we're gonna take off this little raw edge on the side. And we have, when we take off that edge there and we cut that end off here, we're gonna be right around 21 inches, which is gonna give us three of our strips of seven that we can break down into the two inches. So first I'm gonna start by taking off this little edge here. So now we're gonna take this down now into seven inches. And see, when we cut this side off, we're gonna be right at the 21. So we'll have three of these sections. So I have it lined up on the edge here. I'm gonna to come to that seven inches and I'm gonna make a little score there. And then I'm gonna to come to another seven inches and make a little score there. And I do have two mats, so I'm gonna bring the one down so I can see the, the marker. So I have my seven inches here. I have my seven inches here. And now we're going to either use the rotary cutter or the scissors. And I'm just gonna take it nice and slow because I'm going through a big bulky piece here. Ooh, I did pretty good on that one. Just this little piece right here at the top. Pull that down. There we go. All right, so then we're gonna do another seven and then we're gonna cut this way into two inches. And we're just gonna keep doing the same thing in until we get all of our fabric prepped here. And then we're gonna have some fun adding it to our wreath frame. And it's gonna look so pretty with all these Valentine colors. And now we have another seven, and then we're gonna turn it this way, and we will be doing the two inch strips. my stack of the pink with the cute little heart and now we're going to move on to the next color here and I hope you're getting the hang of cutting your squares you're getting into your groove and the yard works out really nicely to get the 321 or the three seven inch strips here so I'm going to work on this next one so I have my six different colors cut into seven inches by two inches, and we're gonna begin to add them to our heart wreath frame. All right, so first we're going to arrange our fabric here in a pattern that we like, and I think that actually looks like a nice little pattern. Yeah, I think I, well, let's see here. Yeah, I think I like this. We're gonna keep it in the same pattern here and we'll put those off to the side. So when we go around our wreath, we're gonna just keep following in that same pattern. So we have our heart frame and it's divided by these crossbars here into sections. And we have six sections, one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
and we have three different bars and I name them from the outside going in. We have one, two, and three. And we're gonna start working on the number one bar and each section is gonna have a different amount of material pieces that are added to each section on the number one bar, each section on the number two bar, and each section on the number three bar. And I do have a guide right here, which is gonna show you how many pieces are gonna go on each section. And in the next frame, you'll see a bigger version of it. So make sure to take a screenshot and refer to it as you go around your design. So I'm gonna leave this here for you to take a screenshot. And this is gonna be your guide for how many of the loops that you're gonna make per section on this wreath. We have the number one, the number two, the number three bar, and each section requires a different amount. So we're gonna start adding our fabric to our frame and we're gonna work from the outer bar going in and I always name them from the outside going in. So we have one, two, and three. We're gonna start on the number one bar and we're going to add our fabric in that same pattern. We're going to start with our first color here and we're going to grab our fabric and we're going to fold it in half lengthwise and we're going to fold it in half again. And then we have this part is the loop at the end here and we're going to bring it under that number one bar and we're going to bring our open ends here through the loop and we're going to pull it a little tight and that's going to give us our first material that we've added and we're going to do that same thing we're going to grab our next fabric we're going to fold it in half and in half again. And we're gonna bring the loop part right here under our number one bar. And we're going to pull our open ends through the loop. We're going to pull it nice and tight. And that's how we are gonna add all of our material. So let's do another one together. We're gonna fold it in half. Fold it in half again. Bring the loop in under our number one bar and our open ends come through the loop. I'm gonna pull it nice and tight. and push it towards our others. And look at how cute this is gonna be when we fill up our whole wreath with this beautiful Valentine material. And I know it took a little bit of time to prep it, but the results is just gonna be so worth it. And here we're gonna add our next material, bringing it through the loop pulling it nice and tight. And now we have four of our Valentine Day fabrics added. And let's go to the next one. And we're just gonna keep going in that same pattern until we get the amount that we are going for on each of the bars. Fold it in half and then half again. Bringing it under the bar. Pulling our open ends through that loop. Giving it a nice tight pull and then opening it up and giving it another tug there. So now we've added one, two, three, four, five. We have one more which will complete 
our six colors and then we'll go ahead and start with that same pattern combination. And I know you all have been waiting so patiently for this design and I'm so happy that I finally was able to get to it. Time just gets away from me sometimes and I do my best to stay on top of all these designs, but I just have so many I've been trying to do and I'm just, this one, I guess we're just saving the best for last. So, so I'm going to keep going until I get 11 into this section. So far I've done my full set here of six and now I'm going to go back to the first color. So I'm going to fill up this section and I'll check right back. Have the 11 that we added right here on this section and now we're going to work our way around this next section and we're going to be adding 22. So I'm going to keep going in that same pattern doing that same exact thing until we make it all the way around this number one bar which is the outside of our wire wreath frame and we are just gonna have so much fun filling this up it's gonna be absolutely beautiful and stunning once we get make our way around all of the bars in this pattern you are going to love the results so i'm going to keep going and we'll meet back when we get through this next section So now we've made it around this next little curved section right here and we've added 22 to this outside curve. Now we're going to be working on this next little section here and we're going to be adding six. So we're just continuing in that same pattern. And isn't this fun? It's, can you imagine how beautiful this is going to look when we fill up all three of these bars? It's just going to be absolutely breathtaking. And now we've added the six on this section and we're going to go to this next section, which is 22 again. So we have made it around this other curve with our 22 pieces. And now we're going to do this section with 11. we're coming up on this very last section on our number one wire bar and this section we're going to do 11. So we've made it around that number one bar with our pattern that we have here and now we're going to go on that middle bar which is the number two bar and we're going to follow this pattern and it has different amounts because we're we're doing fewer as we go in to each section because each heart is a different size. So now we're going to start. I'm going to do 15 now. Instead of the 22 on the outside, we're going to do 15. 
then we're going to do 10, then five, then 10, 15, and seven. seven. And I'm gonna continue with the same color combination, the pattern, and I'm going to start on this middle bar now. And this section is gonna have 15, and we're gonna continue with that same thing. We're putting it onto the bar, making it nice and snug, and then we can open that up to help make it a little bit tighter. And we're just gonna keep continuing. So we did the number two bar, we've done the 15, and now we're gonna work on this next section, which is 10 right here on the number two bar. And we're gonna keep following that same pattern, and we're working our way around that middle number two bar. So we've just completed the 10 on the number two bar. And now we're moving on to this section, which is gonna be five. And we finished our five at that, this section right here. And now we're gonna mimic what we did on the other side. I had just finished the five and now I'm gonna be doing 10. on to this last middle section right here and that is going to be seven right here and then once we've finished that will complete the whole middle ring the number two ring and then we'll be working on the number three and we have two of our bars completed the number one and the number two and now we're going to be working on our last bar in the middle my way around the next bar following my same pattern. So I made it all the way around following my pattern here and look at our gorgeous design. So you're going to flip it over and I had already done this, but you're just going to go through each of these sections and making sure the ribbon is all facing towards the front of your wreath or the material, not the ribbon. You want to make sure that that's all towards the front and you can see that beautiful material in the front of your wreath and you could take some time to fluff it and put a hanger on it. If you do do a hanger, we're going to connect it to these two bars and I'm just going to do one right now with a Chanel stem or a pipe cleaner and we'll just connect it to these two bars right here. And we'll do another one. That way it's going to hang nice and even. And we'll just go about like so. I don't want to make it too tall. Just about like that. And we'll just twist that around here. And that gives us a nice little hanger. If you want to do a ribbon hanger where you can see the piece of ribbon coming down from the top, you can 
do that as well. Just connect it to these, these two crossbars right there. So it hangs nice and even. And I'm just going to twist that around. And making it nice and sturdy. And then we have this little hanger right there to hang our beautiful design. And I have quite a bit of material left over. I did get a yard each and I'm not, I just, I'm not a, a seamstress. So I really didn't know how far that was going to go. But as you can see, I have a lot left over to make another one. And these were the ones that I didn't even cut those seven inch, one of those seven inch strips. So, um, you know, I want to say a half a yard would be enough of each fabric, uh, to be on, um, just to make sure I'm pretty sure it would be. I just, um, got a full yard and you can see what I have left over. So I'm so happy that you came to my channel and I hope that you love your rag Valentine heart wreath as much as I love mine and that you'll come back to my channel and craft with me some more. And in the description box down below, you'll find all my Amazon affiliate links with my favorite crafting supplies, as well as the supply list to make this wreath and my social media links. So be sure to follow me on social media, tag me with your beautiful rag wreath design and come back to my channel and let's craft again some more. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow for more wreath and crafting ideas. Thanks for watching.